They it's said he has tendonitis in both calves in his in his legs. Welcome back to the Control Towns Podcast. This is episode 84. Today we're going to be talking about the fourth week of the NFL season, our fantasy picks, our fantasy league, I should say. Um, some of the top performers of the league, some of the injuries that are very surprising, some of the people that are underperforming that, and, overperforming. Uh, and overperforming, and then uh, some some players that are surprisingly uh, having breakout years. So uh, I'm going to go to the top players of the league. This is fantasy. So uh, we're, we're both Giants fans, and uh, it's been a tough season for the Giants, uh, any, any New York fan as the Jets and Giants are uh, having a, a rough start to the season. Yeah, the Jets not so much. But the the Giants, Jets yeah. not as much as the Giants, but still. So the top performer in fantasy is Alvin Kamara. He has one receiving touchdown. How many rushing touchdowns? He has five rushing touchdowns. Oh, wow, he's having a good year. He's having a great year. And then uh, second is uh, Saquon Barkley, who had four touchdowns and then one receiving touchdown. Yeah. And... Then Derrick Henry, Lamar Jackson, and so on and so forth. Yeah, Derrick Henry just had the good, like, just had two good really, games really great games. He had a breakout game yeah. last game, and it's uh, it's been a tough start for Patrick Mahomes, but it hasn't been a tough start for Kansas City Chiefs as no, because they're they're, they're they're still they're, able to win they're games. Winning, they're winning but games. he's been he's been averaging at least one one interception per game. Yeah, so it's a it it. Uh, it I, it's definitely a tough. Uh, he's, he's, de- he's, he's having definitely- a slow start, yeah, he's but definitely- he's he is a quarterback that you know can bring home the win. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. You know he can bring home the win. Yeah. And he does have those other players that he can lean on when he is having a rough game. Yeah. Or like Travis Kelsey had a very slow start to the year. Um, people are uh, speculating it's between his age, the Taylor Swift. Uh, the Taylor Swift relationship. I, some guys say some people are just saying there's other offensive targets that are, are stealing the um spotlight or not the spotlight but more of stealing those repetitions. Yeah. And it's it's been a very fast season. I feel yeah. like I feel yeah, like yeah we're, we're already in the four we're, we're already in the we're going into week five three five. And yeah. the Philadelphia Eagles had have a bye this week, and who else has a bye? And like you were saying before, I think I think it's it might be two teams. I don't know if it's two teams or one team has a bye. So, but there's some teams that have week twelve, week thirteen, week fourteen buys. Wait, there's there's a team that has oh it's the Lions and the Eagles have a bye this have week. Have a bye this week, okay. And I mean, yeah, there's some teams that have week fourteen buys, week thirteen, week twelve. So it goes all the way till the end. Yeah, it's and not like you, you got, and I think they're doing like they used to have. I think it was four teams a bye week. I think now they're doing two because it's so many weeks. Like it's so it starts in week four and it goes all the way to fourteen. Yeah. So I think they're doing maybe two, three teams a week or maybe four teams a yeah, week. Yeah, and absolutely. I mean, it is definitely. It just it's so surprising how fast the, the I feel like the season just started. Yeah, we we're still watching preseason, and um. Like like Christian, just watching Christian the McCaffrey just before. got back from uh, he was overseas. Of, yeah, overseas. He was, he was overseas. Yeah, yeah. I think they said he went to Germany. Yeah. To get second opinion. They on said him. he has tendonitis in both calves in his in his legs. So I that's mean, that's minimal compared to like a torn Achilles. Or, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I mean. We'll see what happens, how that plays out. I think. That yeah, I don't know if he's like a type to. I don't. I don't know if he's gonna. They said he, originally he was only supposed to be out six weeks. We're going into game five. He's probably going to be out till at least week eight, I'd say. I would say at least eight or nine. Maybe and, ten. And, and depends. We'll see, and we'll see how that plays out. And it so, depends how good they're doing. If they're fucking rolling, they might rest him until they yeah. really need him. Yeah, absolutely. And some of the players that are having outstanding breakout years are Sam Darnold. Geno Smith, Smith. Smith, Alvin Kamara, Nico Collins is having Nico a great Collins. year. Um, but let's talk Baker about Mayfield's having another fucking good oh, year. Oh, he's yeah. having a great year, breakout year. Yep. And let's talk about some of the injuries that uh, occurred in the season and came to fruition and uh, yeah. came to the light. Uh, Mike Evans, Chris Conley, Aaron yeah. Rodgers. And let's look. Uh, so Aaron Rodgers said that they said he has swollenness in his knee, which is 
Not really a good sign. Not really a great sign. Um, Zay Jones is suspended. That's not an injury. Uh, what's his name? Hayden Hatton is uh, uh, suspended. Cooper Cup got an ankle injury the second week of the Trey season. Trey Palmer, concussion. Yeah. Uh, neighbor has a concussion. Yep. The guy McBride, uh, McBride from the tight end from the Cardinals missed the last game. Tank Dell just missed the last game. And uh, so did Devontae Adams. So yeah. it's like There's got, been a lot and of they say Devontae Adams is a rumor. Devontae Adams is Christian be McCaffrey's free. obviously the biggest injury of the season. Yeah, uh, but that he hasn't he hasn't even pleaded, so that's yeah, it's, it's, so it's different. different. Um, but Jamison Crowder, Anthony Richardson. Yeah, Anthony R- Rashid Rice. Demarcus they, Robinson. They're saying Rashid Rice might have a torn ACL. So we'll see what happens. Khalil Shakir. Moster. Um, McMillan. Uh, Tyson Hill. He's the... Yeah, Tyson Hill. He's Tyson the, uh, Hill. Sorry, I apologize. Jacob Cowing. Uh, Austin Eckler. Austin lot Eckler of, missed the last game, too. A yeah, yeah. lot, of, yeah. lot of injuries. And yeah. uh, there's a lot of people that... Uh, fought through their injury because Alvin yeah. Kamara was questionable going into week four. Yes, he was. And there's some players that, that are just able to, to fight through it. So now we're going to look at the league leaders. We're going to look at uh, sortable stats, sortable statistics, receiving yards. Who do you think has the most receiving yards Probably right now? Probably Nico Collins. Um, Justin Jefferson. With yards? Or, or oh no, that's, oh, that's projections. Oh, click, I apologize. Click here. And then click uh, season, season total. Season. Right there. Right underneath. Perfect. Thank you. And then hit filter. And then you should be able to filter it from right here. Yeah, Nico Collins. He's got Nico. almost 500 yards. Nico Collins, Malik Neighbors. Ooh, wow, he's having a good one. That's how you say his name, right? Yeah, Malik, Malik Neighbors. DK uh, Metcalf. DK Metcalf. Wow. Justin Jefferson's top five. Yep. So, yeah. Sorry, that was my mistake before. CD Lamb's having a great year. He's another. He's guy. having a good, decent year. Yeah. There's, there's. I don't know. This kid, this guy, Nico Collins, having a great year. He's who, only got five hundred yards. Who do you think's gonna win MVP, or who do you who think is gonna be projected to win MVP? Because it's not year, gonna be Mahomes, because Mahomes didn't have the. F- unless he turns it on like the next. He's like, been averaging week. an interception a game. I, I would probably say enough. it's probably between Lamar Jackson right now. Yeah. And uh, Jaden Daniels or Josh Allen. Josh Allen's definitely a good runner up right now. Yeah, Josh Allen's doing a lot with a little. Yeah. He's doing a lot with a little. And you said Devontae Adams is getting traded, right? Yeah. If he went he, to the they Bills. Say, they're saying, I don't know, because he has a lot left on his contract. So he's got like, I think he's making 25 a year. 25 I mean, we million look a year. Up. Let's look it up. I, I'm pretty uh, sure he's, he's close to 25 Devante. a year. Adams contract. I, I believe it's it's probably he is a five year contract, hundred forty million dollars with the Las Vegas Raiders. What's the what's the year, yearly? Uh, uh twenty five a year. Yeah, that's crazy. That's 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 high for a, a. But he they could also get a lot for him. Yeah. So it. Wow, the cap hits forty four million after this year. Wow. That's nuts. Oh, wow, he's made a hundred and twenty nine million dollars in his career. Yeah, phenomenal. He's on two big contracts though, like two really big ones. It's phenomenal though. Yeah, he's good. He's good. No, he's great. Man. He's great. It's so not bad. It's probably it's the just, top five in the league. It's amazing how area. much these uh these players are able yeah. to to make. So let's look at all players. Let's look at top QBs. Who has the most yards for QBs right now? Uh, oh wow, Jared Goff. That's impressive. Uh, oh, Gene, no. Gene, Gene Smith. Smith. Oh, wow. Rob Purdy, Purdy, Dak Prescott, T.A. Shroud, Jared Goff, Baker Mayfield, Stanford. I wonder, now, who has the most touchdowns? touchdowns. Uh, it's, probably, okay, it's probably Donald. Yeah. Wow. Donald has 11. That's nuts. He's having a phenomenal year. Yeah. Donald really a lot of touchdown passes. Josh Allen's having a great year. Baker Mayfield's yeah. having another great year. But I tell now, you right who's, now. Who, who's taking the beating the most? Who, who's gotten sacked the most? Wow. Wow, Watson. Yeah. 19 sacks. And K- Caleb Williams getting fucking sacked all the time. Wow. So it's bigger, Mayfield. Mayfield. They're, they're, these guys are running for their lives. But 20, 20 in four games is crazy. 
So I want to see NFL uh, NFL standings, and then I want to see where you think um, some of these teams are going to end up at the end of the year. So the AFC East, we got Bills I, starting three and one, two and two Jets, Patriots one and three, and Dolphins are one and three. I probably think it's probably going to be the Jets, honestly, but the Bills are playing really good. The Dolphins are. They're done because two is probably not coming back through. And we'll I see how soon the rest of the year. We'll see how Aaron Rodgers injury plays yeah, out. Yeah, and Aaron Rodgers injury plays out, yeah. Obviously AFC West with I the Chiefs, it's... Chargers, Broncos, and Raiders. Chiefs are undefeated. Lock, probably got locked up. They're probably gonna win twelve I would say twelve minimum minimum, minimum 12. twelve. Yeah. Their schedule is probably not that hard. They'll lose five games. Yeah. If that if that if that maybe three, four. I don't see them going undefeated this year, nah, but no, no, no. But you really never know because they no, do. You don't never know because if Mahomes starts picking up his his game, yeah. he's been averaging an interception. You take that out uh, out of uh, the the remaining. You, of the uh, season. Once his name starts playing like t- like he he was supposed to play. Yeah, absolutely, Chelsea. Kelsey, yeah. You start uh, start making those uh, those those playmakers. Yeah, where where those the the game the game. The game makers, I should say, yeah. and and the, the differentiate the the team from the, the uh, yeah just put them over the top exactly. because they, they they're winning. They don't, he doesn't really he's not like holding the team back yeah. or anything like that. Yeah. Next we got AFC North: Steelers, Ravens, Browns, and Bengals. I'm surprised that the the Ravens are starting off at a at a fi- uh, they're at five hundred right now. Yeah, they should. It, uh, what, the way their offense is playing, they should be probably at least. I would say three and one at least. Yeah, so we'll see. Mm-hmm. AFC South: Texans, Colts, Titans, and Jaguars. Texans are. Uh, Texans they have a just strong lost start. to the, the Vikings. Yeah, yeah. They just the Vikings have given beat, have fucking beat them. Then have came out of nowhere. Yeah, and. Now let's go to the National Football Conference. We got the Commanders, Cowboys, Eagles, and Giants. The Commanders is the most surprising to me. They're three, three and one. one. The Cowboys have a great team, and then the Eagles are phenomenal. I don't know what the Eagles are doing though. Eagles are really playing bad. NFC West: Seahawks, 49ers, Cardinals, Rams. I'm pretty um, surprised the Cardinals and the Rams are one and three, honestly. And then the other undefeated team is the Vikings. Yep. Followed by the Lions, Bears, and Packers in the NFC North, and obviously I think the Vikings have such a strong start that they'll they'll be yeah, able probably to be the, they'll probably be the they'll probably be they'll probably win that division yeah exactly and and then the Buccaneers are three and one followed by the Falcons, Saints, and Panthers and the Saints are another team. Derek Carr has had a a great, a great year, year so only far. Two, and they're only two and two. two. Yeah. So I think as the as the team as the the season plays out a little bit more, the Saints are going to bump up. Maybe pass the Falcons. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they'll beat the Buccaneers in the sense of the NFC South. But yeah. The Saints are definitely a uh, team to they're, watch. They're definitely threat. Yeah. Vikings, I think, have no chance of going undefeated. Yeah. I think that there's a possibility um, that they they win twelve games. Yes. With the way Donald's been playing, Justin Jefferson's been playing. Exactly. And it, it's a lot of it has to do with no injuries. They have to make sure that there's no injuries for yeah. the remainder of the season. Who do you think is going to make it to the Super Bowl this year? Probably going to be the Chiefs. I would say the Chiefs. Uh, these are my three. Four. The Chiefs, Bills, or Jets. And that's for the AFC. The AFC. Chiefs, Bills, Jets. Okay. And then the NFC. Uh, there's not that many good teams. I can't see the Commanders because no. it's a rookie quarterback. Maybe then uh, I would say either I would say the Lions, the Vikings, or the 49ers. I don't think you see, I don't personally that great. I think it's either going to be the three teams. I think it could be from the NFC. Yeah, the Buccaneers, the Vikings. Uh, the Saints are number four. Yeah, but then I would put the Eagles. At, at uh the top three, yeah, I think they right, have yeah. a, they, they, they have stopped. a solid team. Yeah, yeah. They added everybody's, Saquon. Everybody's injured. Yeah, uh, you're so right. uh, and then AFC, I think like like you said, it's either the uh the Chiefs, yeah, the Bills. I don't know if the Jets are gonna gonna get there. Listen, the Texans are another threat. They're another team. Yeah, that I, that I really see. they have the they have the. It's just the defense, bro. The defense. They have the tools to, to really. And at least I could happen. see the Steelers too, but I I don't know I don't know about Justin Jefferson. Uh, no. Justin Fields. I don't know. 
No, and I, I think know. I think those teams that we mentioned have those solid quarterbacks yeah. that could take their team to the Super Bowl yeah. and possibly take their team uh, home a championship. Exactly. But um, I mean, so now we'll we'll talk about how our teams are playing in their fantasy league. Our league is called the league. I'm currently in number three. Steven's nice team. I'm three and yeah. one with seven hundred points. Uh, Chris is two and two, coming in number eight. Uh, he's turning his team around definitely to yeah. get a, a slower start to the season. But you you have a lot of points for. Um, nah, I don't have a lot of points. I mean, a lot of guys are injured. A lot of guys have injured. Well, Cooper what I'm Paul. trying to say is. Um, you I have, have a lot of points probably 616 allowed. points allowed of 708 that's yeah. the reason why he lost what's most surprising is Danny's team right here he has 741 points and he still is two and two yeah which is so it's just about it's just about who you play probably yeah yeah it's the, time. It's, it's the timing and uh I mean I think you'll definitely make the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. I think we'll, I'll definitely make the we'll playoffs. We'll see what happens. It's a top six league, so we'll see yeah, what yeah. happens. We'll see what happens. What are you uh, projected going into week five? Probably to lose, honestly, because I don't. I have a, lot of, I have a lot of guys injured, like I said. Oh, Cooper yeah, Cup. you're down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Cooper Cup, Devontae Adams, like guys like that I have yeah. injured, so we'll see. Yeah, I mean, we'll definitely take. Uh, definitely see how this plays out, and then. Uh, Touch back, uh, touch base with everyone, and uh, you guys can let us know in the comments below what you uh, have on your fantasy team, who you think is going to win MVP, who you think is going to win the Super Bowl, and then you guys can let us know who, what you think about our teams on uh, in our fantasy league. So thank you all for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and check out Controlled Sounds on Instagram and TikTok. Thank you. Thank you.